Hello, and welcome to Inside the Women of Denver, where leaders share their successes, failures, and lessons learned on the journey to success. I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here with Diana Silva, licensed life and insurance broker, certified with Connect for Health Colorado. Diana is a Mexican immigrant, raised in Colorado since she was nine months old. She grew up watching her family struggle to find Spanish language resources, serving as their translator on a regular basis. This experience drove her passion for helping Spanish-speaking families find the resources they need, and she specializes in healthcare and life insurance. So Diana, tell me a little bit about how you help Spanish-speaking families in Colorado. So basically I help them um, find the right health insurance policy out there for them based on their current medical needs or financial needs. Um, I explain to them to my best of ability uh, what the consequences are of not having health insurance, um, helping them understand uh, what it covers, how it works, how you know the whole language, uh, you know, the out-of-pocket maximum, deductible, co-insurance, co-pay, all that stuff. I make sure that they understand exactly what they're getting into. That's great. So what does it mean for them when you're able to help them with this? So, well, right now there isn't a lot of help out there for Spanish speaking, uh, the Spanish speaking community. So for me to be able to sit down with them and my meetings go, you know, they, they can last up to two hours. Um, and I will just sit with them from the beginning to the end. If they need help with me afterwards, um, I'll be there, I'll be their support. Any questions, I'll call. Sometimes they're not comfortable calling the, their insurance carrier directly, so I'll do that for them. Um, it just basically gives them a sense of relief that they don't have to be asking questions they don't know to ask. I know what they're trying to you know, find out, and I'll find out for them. Nice. So tell me what this means to you. What does it mean to you when you help the families? When I help families, um, I always see my parents when I was little. So for me, it's always like they're an extension of my family and I'm helping someone that I don't know. But talking to them, I mean, it feels like I already do just because of the shared culture we have. We'll talk about Mexico or, you know, any other South American country and just go along through business and talk personally. So when did you find out for sure that this was your passion? Was there a feeling, something that happened to you, um, a moment that you can recall when you realized, this is what I wanna do with my life? I always knew I wanted to help. Um, I didn't know exactly where or how I wanted to help. I think the opportunity presented itself and it just kind of clicked at me and it made sense at that point. I was like, that's something that I want to do. Good. Um, what are some of the lessons that you've learned on the journey that helped you get to this point? Uh, Self-discipline is a big one. Um, sometimes, well, you know, sometimes there isn't someone telling you what to do, where to go, what resources to find. So just having the discipline to find out the answers on your own. Um, that's been like a really big lesson that I've learned. Um, I don't know, I guess patience as well. Just being patient and sometimes you feel lost, but things will eventually work out. So Diana, how did it feel to finally get your licenses? Um, it felt really relieving. Um, there was an issue with my last name. Um, a lot of Latinos, we have like four names. I have four names and one of them I forgot to add and the state doesn't like that. So it took about four weeks um, to finally get my license after I had passed my tests, after I had done months of studying. Um, but uh, yeah, trying to figure out my my name issue, I, I thought that it was something with my background, <laughs> so <laughs> that wasn't the deal. Um, it was just my name, um, but when I finally got my certificate, it was, it was a really nice moment, just seeing that all my hard work was, was there on paper. And um, when I was certified with Connect for Health, uh, that was also really, really hard. 
um, a lot of um, training that you have to do with uh, Connect for Health. Um, you also get a pretty certificate, so that felt rewarding when I finally was able to see my name on a certificate. Beautiful. Thank you. So tell me, what does your family think about the work you do? I think, I don't know, my family is still kind of, I don't think they really understand. I think they're really impressed because it sounds really fancy, but <laughs> um, I don't think that they fully know what I'm doing um, when I tell them that I do events or that, you know, I'm on the radio. They just think that it's, these are things that, you know, we dream about. This is like really the American dream. And you just hear about it, but you don't ever expect it to be part of your family. So th I think that's where they're at. They're, they're kind of not sure what I'm doing, but they know that I'm doing something big. So the American dream, what does that mean to you to be living the American dream? I don't know. I never thought that I would be one to live the American dream. I always considered myself American because I was here since I was nine months. I don't know. Yeah, I, I went to school in Mexico for a couple of years, um, but I never really felt like I was from there. So I never really felt that I was never from the U.S. It wasn't until recently, you know, it started hitting me a little bit more and it, I really realized where I came from and my roots, where I was like, wow, like I've come a long way, you know, from living in a small ranch where I could, God knows where I'd be right now if we were still in Mexico. It's like a small, tiny ranch inside of a small, tiny town, inside of a tiny, tinier town. So it's just, um, I don't know, it's, it's pretty, it's a big responsibility to say that you're living the American dream. Yeah. What's one final thought, one thing that you just want to offer the world that's meaningful to you? I guess I want, I want them to know that there are people that care. Um, there are people that um, don't see a job as something that you go and you, you just leave you know, at work. Um, I want them to know that I'm committed to helping them, that I'm committed to basically um, kind of taking some weight off of their shoulders. They're already living in a country that they don't really understand, they don't know, they don't feel a part of. I, I want to be like a, the, like part of the bridge that helps them feel like they are a part of it and that someone here does care about them. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Diana. I really appreciate Thank you, for you being me. here. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching Inside the Women of Denver. I'll see you next time.